Friends, the traveler's first check is to inspect the weather. The view from my apartment window simply excites me that today is the perfect day for my first blog shoot. Hi friends, I'm Igos. Uh, welcome back to my blogging channel, Travis Story. So where I share the stories uh, which I gather while I travel throughout the places and different parts of Europe, Asia and other countries. So today we are going to visit one of the uh, architectural excellence of uh, Eindhoven. This is the same city where I stay. Okay. Friends, on my way to the destination, so I have to climb a steep slope, the road which directs towards our destination. So as you can see, we are slowly moving towards our destination. It's going to be a very sweet memory for every one of us when we visit this place. And uh, mind it, uh, Eindhoven and any other mm, cities of Netherlands, the best part is they have been able to preserve the old yet they have gone with the changes of the modern times so that's the special characteristics of each and every big cities of netherlands and in entire europe so, this so let's not waste time and speed up our footsteps amigos so we have finally reached the starting point of our journey the medieval period architectural masterpiece, St. Augustine Church. On our screen right now is the iconic statue of Lord Jesus, known as the Sacred Heart Statue. Out of love and respect, the people of Eindhoven call it Jesus Wachals or the Jesus the Daredevil. Follow me as we proceed to explore the beauty from outside. We are now standing exactly in front of the grand archaic doors of the church and trying to measure the height of the colossal structure. Just notice the intricate design of the door lampshades, it echoes the artistic acumen of medieval era.
In the medieval period, church not only served as a religious body, but was considered as the torch bearers of societal development. This gymnasium is a testimony of the role played by the church in shaping the holistic development of an individual. Here we capture the view of the other side of the church. The long stretch of red brick building is a portion of the medieval Marienhage monastery which was long associated with the church. Friends and amigos, it's time to go inside the church and see how the beauty and architecture prevails over there. So please follow me as we proceed, okay? The entrance to the church is through the newly built Marienhage Boutique Hotel in the Domasdela complex. With the ravages of time, there was a serious need to renovate the church and the historic Marienhage monastery. Today the Hotel Marienhage is in complete charge of the maintenance of the church, gymnasium and the monastery building. History was reborn in the cradle of present. Friends, amigos. Right now, I am inside St. Augustine Church. St. Augustine Church was built in the year 1420. It's one of those 60 medieval neo-Gothic architecturally designed churches of the Brabant province of Netherlands. It's situated in the city of Eindhoven, a city which has always embraced science, technology, and has helped not only the society over here in Netherlands, but across the different geographic locations. It has helped the human beings to embrace the new science and technology and how that can help to benefit and make their life much easier and comfortable. So this church uh, has some unique features. We will explore it as we go through it. This church is 66 meters high and this is one of the prominent skyline feature of Eindhoven. This church can be viewed from any corner of the city. So let's not waste time and let's see the architectural beauty of St. Augustine Church.
This is the shepherd. This is the shepherd. We just came out of the chapel. As we saw, each part of the chapel is kept as it is. Everything is kept in its original form. That's the beauty of the Dutch culture. They never tend to forget their past. They always embrace the modern culture and the technology. But at the same time, they keep in mind, they continue to cultivate their culture, keeping the originality intact. Now, it's time to go down the stairs and have a look in the courtyard.
Hi friends, hope you would have enjoyed the entire journey. Please do share your feedback in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel, YouTube channel Travis Story and click the bell icon so that you receive all the latest updates related to my channel. Until then, this is your host SG signing off.